Hello guys, welcome, welcome to another episode of Ripster Daily Recaps and Teachings. Today we will recap our Friday trades and we will look at, uh, you, know, how we, you know, how we traded, what were the teachings from Friday. So we are going to discuss all that. So let's start. So Friday, um, as always, I was up 45 minutes before the market opened. I went through all the news sources. I gathered all the news, pre-market movers, wake up summary, and I created my watch list. So you see my watch list right here. Lulu, AVGO, DOCU, Dash, Qualcomm, FSLR, Riot, RH, Corvo, Smart, Robolox, among others. And then we have our market indicators and our market plays. So we'll talk about a huge, huge win on Lulu. We'll talk about the morning chop on AVGO, and we'll talk about AMD chop. Um, you know, and AVGO and AMD didn't do us, you know, much good. So there was a loss there, but uh, but we recovered with other good trades like uh, Lulu, Nvidia, IWM, and then um, you know RH short. So we'll discuss all those uh, plays here. And these were my levels, guys. Uh, you can clearly see the levels for the day. Uh, SMCI uh, was the one which really moved over the pivots. You can take a screenshot of these levels I give to my uh, community every, every morning so they can trade on their own using my levels and match their levels to mine to get some more conviction. So uh, you can see and you can see Boeing again. Today was a big, big mover over the resistance pivot that I gave. So uh, let's start. So first one we're going to start with is AVGO. So we'll tell how AVGO, what did it do with us in the morning? So AVGO I started, you know, I started at the open and uh, it gave me a bearish candle and then, um, you know, <clears throat> it was okay. I was waiting till the, this 918 level, you see, start, I added a starter, bearish candle. I added little, I added little more. You can see here 938, I added little more and then it started to push. I mean, I was green at the, after that. I was, re, you know, re, uh, you know, I was I was uh, decently green when it was pushing towards 927, 926, but then it again came back. And that's when I decided to take a loss and move on. So I moved on from from AVGO, but but you can see I had these eyes on 930, 928 breakout this level. Look carefully. Breakout 928, 930. So that's fine. I think few people also traded it short. Um, I didn't want to touch it because I was, you know, busy with other trades. But when it turned bullish, there was another opportunity to get back in here, right? You're turning bullish. You already know that 918 is your risk level. You can get anywhere here and put the stops under 918. And if you miss that, then you can trade this breakout. So this breakout that it tried morning once, twice, you could have traded this breakout, you know, lot of Friday. So, um, and then uh, you could have recovered, you know, I was away. I did not see this reversal. My price alerts did not hit in, but I would have come back and I would have recovered uh, all my losses on AVGO here. And um, so you, you see, right? And this was with the market. So market was going, so was AVGO. And I did mention that um, when market goes, market is turning bullish, so can AVGO versus the EMA clouds. So good example here, guys. Uh, you see the more, even though that was a good range, you know, if even if you look at it the way I was trading, there was a good range, you know. Um, this was uh, almost $15 range, but the real move came at end of the day. No worries, we were going to watch AVGO uh, on Monday uh, maybe we get a next leg up. AVGO is used to such moves. So uh, anyways, so it's a good example, good lesson, you know, how to keep eyes on a ticker. When is it breaking out? When is it bearish? When is it bullish? This part of the game, guys, if it broke out here in the morning, we would have had a nice bullish trend. But anyways, that was AVGO, a loss for me this morning. Let's talk about, um, so let's talk about our mega winner today. So that was Lulu. So we'll talk about Lulu, how I traded it and why it became a mega winner for us this morning. If you see my plan on Lulu was as long as under 454, I would be bearish, right? As long as under 554 bearish, right? 
but but it moved over 554 it moved over the clouds right and that is when that is when i i said watch the pull pullback first 10 minutes i said watch the pullback versus the 448 risk or you can you can risk these uh, ema clouds because i saw this daily flag setup look at this flag there was this nice nice little flag on daily there was a breakout fill the gap whenever a stock fills the gap and gets over the gap it's extremely bullish so that's when i said long it and then i said you can trade lotos because i know even a lotto you spend two three hundred dollars it can become fifteen hundred dollars because lulu has history of moving that way and i have traded it so many times that's how i know so that's why i was confident that you can trade some lotos and then lotos were moving up right away we were locking on the way and then uh, you know it was all about just following the plan on lulu i said holding one third we will get more i said at 10 a.m right so 10 a.m was right here 470s we will get more i clearly said we will get more and then 470 lotto went 20 to 7 you know and then uh, 480 lotto was moving and then uh, even 480 lotos were paying and when then it went in 480 i told everyone to get uh, 485s right just use the profit if you made thousand dollars you 300 dollars to get the next lotto everyone 485 lotto you can see here went on to go to uh, 150 percent right so um so you can all see all my time stamped comments here and here is the chart of the lulu one of the options that went from one cents to twelve dollar six cents of course nobody gets that one but you don't you don't you know if somebody got the one that was hundred dollars to hundred twenty six thousand dollars but that is fine even if you got at one dollar you know even that became thousand times your hundred dollar became thousand dollars so it's still worth it right so that is the risk reward on lotos guys always always on the option lotos you should be willing to lose what you put in but you cannot put your whole portfolio right let's say you have a ten thousand dollar account yeah maybe you want to risk three hundred dollars on lotto you know just or maybe you had a good week and you were just using the profit in the friday lotto that is the way to trade the lotto because when you buy a lot of options what is a lot of option lot of option is which is expiring same day low probability so when you buy it you're already in your mind you know that it can go to zero because sometimes a lot of options go to zero or mine they go to like minus 90 percent to 300 400 percent so that is the lesson you should learn from here you know and there will be more chances next time right so uh, it's always it's all always about the range lulu is not done yet by the way it's breaking over all time high we will be watching it next week for the trades but this is a good lesson for you guys uh, on lulu uh, how to uh, how to trade lotos how to move higher nothing is too high nothing is too low people who use R rsi blah blah they miss these kind of moves they miss these kind of trades so as long as the trend is there ride the trend guys ride the trend ride the trend that's what i always say ride the trend and keep moving higher if you are in option if i'm in the shares i made some money on the shares i use profit i use profit to uh, uh you know i use profit to make uh, take more you know i take more options i use my shares profit to take some options so that's how you do it so let's look at our next one guys so the next one was rh so RH was a bearish bias and short today. So that was the plan. 252 was the support I gave. Once 252 gave up, it was a short. So you can clearly see what happened here. As is, it's our gap down setup. You know, sometimes it worked, but when it works, you let it run. Our next example, we will see that docudism did not work, but RH worked, and RH options went over 200%. So that's when I'm talking, when a setup works, you know, that is the difference. Compare, compare this setup with the next setup that we are going to talk about. 
so what you see here rh you know it was a breaking a support on daily very bearish short under first candle lows start a starter lower lows lower highs add into it add into it start covering first profit at 10 am right so most of the first profit 10 am you can hold one piece as long as it's under 512 and once it recovers and you can see when i covered my short after that it bounced three four points so that was a signal to scalp long right right here you see the ema clouds turned and it gave you five points or four points you know so that is something you should uh, learn so that was rh guys let's go to the next so next one is guys doku right so doku i tried to short at open but right away when i did not see a lower high i gave a warning that's not gonna work it is not gonna work and you see there's a buyer here when this happens it means it's going to reverse so compare this with the rh short so you will see what short is going to work what is not going to work so you can see my comments here and i was on voice so this basically I meant no lower high in the bullish market will be cautious right and then within like few minutes when it was doing this uh, you know then i decided i have to void the setup so i voided the setup as soon as it got over here right then it turned bullish then once it turned bullish you know i scalped a little bit long you know my end of the day target was 51 so i shared with everyone it's still strong it's still bullish so it's bullish means there's no short right so i already said void the short no short it's bullish so you need to turn bullish you lost in the bearish then you turn bullish look where it's going it's going over yesterday highs then it's going over day before yesterday highs so it's very important concept to learn right if doku short was working we would have and even and mind you doku short was profitable it was not right you know just to you know if i was just it was if it was just me and you know i was not busy with the community and all i would have covered majority here and i would have managed it because i would have entered right but i but the point is that we did not get a long-term trend it was an amateur move so you have to quickly turn into the trend move and get long on doku right so yeah so that was doku guys uh, important to understand difference between doku and rh so let's look at amd guys so amd guys um, it was a chop in the morning i tried to short right so i tried to short i was trying to short it and then it came back bullish wipe and then um, uh, you know i gave the stops under 128 if you want to trade the bullish the stop should be under that one and then um, it was still under the clouds and then the swipe came then the swipe came and then win came in he gave the risk of 127 his risk held because he gave a better risk than me and it gave a nice trade into the breakout right i did not touch it because i was chopped in the morning but you can see win gave the dips versus 127 and it went on to 131 you know so i was not interested in this this long this is not an a plus setup for me and once a ticker has done bad with me it plays with my emotions i avoid it because i was doing much better to, you change stick with the trades which are working with you they don't play with your mindset rather than just getting you know your emotions triggered in one ticker so that was amd for me so with avgo and amd those were my two uh, losses this morning but as you see the plays like lulu rh that helped me recover all that right so that was there so let's look at the next so next one is guys uh, nvidia let's first look at the levels i gave on nvidia so you can see what was the level i gave on nvidia 468 466 60 468 466 60 the two levels i gave and then it broke out of all those levels i mentioned on the voice that's the strongest one and i mentioned on the voice that i am long nvidia and then i traded nvidia long all day and i was out when it broke this 512 and uh, later in the day it did break out of this flag for another move but i have made a good money from this morning move uh, as you can see here um, uh, right at the open all the way to 477 and i was saying that today the money was flowing into nvidia from amd it fl it was going into nvidia that's why i, I preferred nvidia much better than uh, amd trade today 
So that was a nice stress-free all day winner for us in, in Nvidia. All right, guys, let's look at some other plays which were not my personal plays, but were my guidance. Let's look at Boeing. So Boeing, guys, let's go back to my levels. What was my level? My level on Boeing was 237.5. Look carefully. Right? So what happened once that level was broken? Push. Push. So something important to learn on, on Boeing is, guys, the hammer candle yesterday when this happens when this happens guys it's very bullish yesterday a bad news come the shorts got added 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 it pushed back up this is very very bullish candle that's why i talked about it that's why ba is every day on our watch in the marketplace guys every day ba is on our watch in the marketplace and look at the move on boeing just beautiful so you just have to find that one setup that you like and trade it so very proud of a lot of people in the community who traded uh, uh, Boeing. all right let's talk about roblox so roblox my plan was on roblox this was my plan you can read it here it was extended so the point was i was kind of bullish but it was extended so when something is extended from ema clouds like i covered in my webinars i'm not really that interested but I am interested in a B minus short if that level 40 to 20 keeps failing. And what happened? 40 to 20 fail. And what did I say? B minus short went from 40 to 20, 40, 70. First target stays heavy. Second target 40. Boom. $2 short all day fade. B minus to B plus short right there. My guidance right in front of you as per the plan you know so you can see the idea worked clearly so you have to have a conviction to execute there all right guys let's look at the next one uh, which one of a watch list i did not do there much because you know i can only play a few plays but as you see doordash was on our watch list number four doordash uh, went started pushing right at open ema cloud you add starter you add starter more over yesterday highs and then you watch the pullbacks versus 99 because I was a little late and then look where it pulled back and then it bounced to 100 back. Now DoorDash is on a watch for 100 psychological breakout this coming week, Monday, we will watch it. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. So next one is guys SMCI. Again, go back to my marketplace, my levels. What do I teach every day? What do I teach every day? So every day I teach to follow the levels, to follow the levels, to follow the pre-market plan. So look at it, look at the same CMCI level. What is my pivot level? And what do I say? If it breaks out over EMA cloud, it's a long idea. If cloud break down after resistance reject, it's a short idea. SMCI 256.5, let's look here, 256.5. 256.5 broken and SMCI pushed, pushed, pushed higher, right? So you see that, you see that, right? So that's how it works. That's how it works. That's how you execute yourself, not waiting on somebody else. So that was, that's, that's why my community, I'm so proud of. That's why so many, you know, our community is the one of the best out there because people execute themselves. And I, as a guide, I just help them and they are executing, not waiting on the bright alerts. Look at the ideas and the levels that I have given today, not to mention my voice guidance every day. So yes, um, so I'm very proud of that. Okay, let's look at Uber, guys. I've been talking about this Uber breakout for a long time. Um, 61 was the breakout I gave. It broke out of the 61, pushed to 62. Next breakout from 62 is 64. So, you know, so that was Uber. So, so that was it, guys. Uh, there, there are a lot of our swing winners, which I don't want to discuss on this call, but uh, you know we'll discuss that later. But even the riot was on our uh, watch list today. You can see uh, even riot went, and I'm watch, wo we're watching all these riot bitcoins once again next week. Will be main, main watch. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you. Uh, have a great weekend. If you want to trade with me, um, come to my community. Um, we have uh, holiday promo running on. Uh, do not come for blind alerts, come for learning, education and trading with the family. Thank you. Bye-bye.